obviously underwater theme going on. Um, my muse is actually Lauren Hill's daughter. Her name is Sela Marley, and um, she's underwater. I would show you a picture. I don't know if I have one. But she's underwater, and she has like I guess Marley braids or twists, and it's like flowing up. But the way her the way her body is structured and positioned in the picture is like so beautiful. So I really want to capture that moment and put it on canvas. Like, and the name of this piece will be uh, Replenished. So I think it's going to be awesome. I think the audience will definitely love it. And I'm happy. Like, I can't wait to finish. My name is Brianne James. I am originally from Austin, Texas. I currently reside in Houston. And I am a fine artist. I have been drawing since I was little. Um, my first crayon I picked up, I just started expressing on paper and ever since then it's just been progressing from there. And then once I got into high school, I um, got introduced to advanced painting and drawing, so I just started to pursue it from there. I have not, honestly, but I was studying Bachelor's of Fine Arts. I was taking the basics and then um, for some reason, I just realized school wasn't for me. At least that school wasn't for me. So I tried to come back to Houston and I got sidetracked with the tattoo industry. And um, that obviously wasn't for me. And from there, I just realized that I need to embrace God's gift. And so now that's what I'm trying to do. Professionally, I want to open up my own studio. I want to create painting lessons for individuals that are wanting to prosper in this, this gift. Like, some people, everyone's at a different level. I wouldn't say anyone's better than anyone else, like art is art. So, I just want people to be in an atmosphere where they feel comfortable to express themselves and, you know, feel free to paint whatever. Like, that's your emotion you put out on canvas, you put out on anywhere. Any, any type of utensil that you grab, I could paint on this tree right now. You know, I want them to feel like that. You know, feel, feel free to be like that. My dream project is to create a mass mural um, in Houston first, as well as Austin, you know, that being my hometown. But I really want, because I reside here, and I feel like there's so much opportunity here. Um, I met some great, wonderful people. I want everyone to see, like, what I have within. I just want to express that in have it humongous so everyone can drive by and be like, who is that, you know? But my work is never finished. I don't think every, I don't think any artist's work is ever finished. Like, I'll stare at a piece, like last night I was staring at this piece for like 30 minutes straight and I'm like, okay, something has to be different, something, like it's never done. Nothing is ever completed. Even after posting it and presenting it, like there's something that you always want to change. Being here right now, listening to the birds, being outside, listening to nature, being at a grocery store, being in my bed, riding around, like I get it, I collect all of these ideas and just imagination from what's around me. And I think it just becomes stored up and I just express it one day when I have enough and I just want to put it out. The hardest step, if anything, may be laying down the foundation on how you want it to be presented to everyone else so that they can understand, you know, clearly by looking at it, what it means. You know, instead of having to explain your piece, you know, they just look at it and it's like, you know, it, it speaks for itself. So I think that's just the only challenge that I have. I, as well as, um, making it look like life. Like, you don't ever want your piece to look dual. Like, some people, and I'm not throwing shade on anybody, but sometimes people settle for the whole solid colors and um, just basic shapes, you know? And I just think there's more to that. You know, that's art, but it's more in depth than that. It's supposed to, art is supposed to have emotion. Art is supposed to, you're supposed to feel it, so. I always want my work to be felt, always. I currently do not have a online website, but I am working on it. You can find me at 
Bryonia James. That's B R I O N Y A J A M E S on Instagram as well as um, 